What's up, y'all? It's your boy, J.C. Desmond. You know, it's funny how last year I was uh, here and I was uh, on this stoop, right? There was some music playing in the background. You know, it's Brooklyn, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I made a video called The Final Discard Should Come From You. And uh, I'm sitting down here now and it's like I'm getting kind of nostalgic because this was kind of like the journey to my uh, my channel now it was later in the year obviously but I'm talking about you know it was 2019 and uh, and it's been like a year since you know I left that situation with the nar the narcopath um, but you know it, it's funny how you reflect and everything and and my year has gone pretty good you know um, and and what I did in order to speed up the healing process of of really the anger that I was going through was I just started focusing on doing things that really bring joy. Uh, so I started going out dancing salsa and, and I started uh, to hang around people who were empathetic towards uh, what I was going through but at the same time were good people who were uplifting. And people who wanted to see me grow and wanted to see me win. And the people who supported me and you know one of the things you're going to come across when you go through uh, narcissistic abuse and, and, and the, the post-narcissistic uh, era, if you will, is you're going to find that who your true people are, okay? You're going to find out who your true friends are and the people who really support you. You're also going to find out the people who are just blatantly full of shit and, and, and really don't care. And you're going to find the people who are easily manipulated by the narcissist and who will jump ship and go on their side without even hearing so much as a word on your end. And I've been fortunate enough to have so many people really back me up and say, you know, Jay, you're a good dude. You're a, you're a stand-up guy and we believe you. Uh, I've also had the, the pleasure of meeting a lot of people who have went through narcissistic abuse um, and, and seeing that these are all like really interesting people, you know, people who are into mixed martial arts, who are into photography, who are into dancing, who are into fitness, um, you know, people who are entrepreneurs and they just got caught with a, with a low level subhuman who really tried to take them uh, for all they had and really tried to destroy them. But these people, they all had this one thing in common. Uh, you know, these people all decided to put their foot down and say to hell with the narcissist. And to hell with this bad experience. I'm going to level up and I'm going to get right back to what I was. And in fact, I'm going to level up and become better than what I was in the first place. And, uh, you know, it, it's really a joy to see a lot of people coming out of this and, and doing better and uh, healing and getting stronger and even looking back at this experience as something that impacted them twofold, right? One in that negative way that, you know, hurt them, but, but later on in a positive way that taught them a very, very valuable lesson in life. You know, as this taught me a valuable lesson, it, this wasn't my first narcissistic experience. I've dealt with narcissists before. I just could never put a name to what I was dealing with. And after I realized um, what I was dealing with on a much deeper and more educated level, um, it really validated everything that I was thinking, all the stuff that I was going through, and it led me to this journey to start this channel. And, uh, and I've been very grateful to everybody um, who supported me and all, but I want to go back to the whole, the whole thing that you're going to find out who your true people really are. You know, the people who will look at you and and uh, and tell you, "I got your back, no matter what," and the people who just want to be around to see a shit show happen, the people who want to be around to see the the train wreck, because these people are either narcissistic themselves or just miserable human beings. Well, I mean, all narcissists are miserable human beings. Or these are just plain miserable human beings that, that, are, that have no lives, that want to see you hurt because they're hurt. And in a way, that's narcissistic, you know? Um, 
to the people who have, and I've had a lot of people hit me up recently tell me that they have uh, experienced a lot of their friends turn their backs on them. You have to understand something. These people who turn their backs on you were never your friends in the first place. These people who decided to take the narcissist side and go along with their story, these people have shown you their true colors. And instead of looking at it as, as being hurt, and of course I'm not telling you not to be hurt because it's hurtful. You know, I've had people that I found out were playing both sides of the fence and now I see them for who they are. And to me, they're absolutely a joke. Um, but if you start to look at these people like, you know, like these are these are leeches, you know, and they're going to go with whatever they think is the cool side of the story. You know what I mean? You know, it, it, it's cool. Like, say me, for instance, you know, if, if the narcissist that I dealt with went around and telling people that I was an abusive, narcissistic prick who beat her and everything, which I'm pretty sure she did, um, and people decided to listen to that story rather than listening to both sides of the story, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's the people that that would buy into that for me would be of no value you know like if she's gonna go around and doing that and get people against me you got to look at these people as if they're just they're sheep they're just gonna go with whoever they think is the strongest leader and narcissists will tend to come off very convincing after um the you know the the discard and they want to smear your name and everything like that you know don't worry about these bottom feeding suckers who 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 follow the narcissist because they don't have half a brain to even uh, you know realize that there's two sides to the story the story there's three sides to the story there's 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 one side there's the other side and then there's the truth um you know most of the times um the the empath story aligns with the truth um you know, I'm rambling and shit, but you know, this is not one of those videos that where it's it's a topic of the week. It's just, it's just a vlog. You know, um, you know, I want to give motivation to people out there. Listen, you know, if if people have turned their back on you because of what happened to you and the narcissist, fuck them, <laughs> straight up, fuck them. Uh, these people aren't worth it. You shouldn't even consider them as important. Should continue to focus on yourself. You don't have nothing to prove to anybody. You understand? You got absolutely nothing to prove to anybody. The narcissist in your life is worthless. These people are will always do what they do. Um, they will always live out this fantasy world in their head, even though it doesn't align with reality. Um, they will try to convince everybody of their fantasy world. But one thing you have to understand is that these people will find out the truth about them. And when they find out the truth about them and they decide... They want to call and come back and be like, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I'm really sorry. Fuck them. You know why? Because rather than getting the full story, they chose what they chose. To go on the side of the narcissist. And you, the empath who has actual value, who has empathy, who has the capacity to grow and, and get better in life... You don't need these kind of people to pull you back because now you're dealing with the past. You're dealing with people in the past. They decide to go along with the narcissist and say, yeah, you know, this guy's a piece of shit and whatever. And then come back saying, listen, man, I'm really sorry that I ever doubted you. Well, you know what? Not me. I'm not sorry that you doubted me. Fuck them. Simple as that. Um, you know, and uh, and that's basically it. You know, you got to you got to you have nothing to prove to anybody. You got to kick these kind of people out of your life. And you got to focus on doing you. It's just that simple, you know. I've kicked a few people out of my life who have uh, sided with uh, the narcissist. Maybe not necessarily directly to her, but in in showing support for uh, you know, or or just not overall, just not listening to my story or not uh, believing what I had to say and thinking that what I had to say was just me blowing things out of proportion. I don't have time for all that shit. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to support me. And of all the things that I've shown you that I was, to be honest, caring, empathetic, uh, a man of my word, I, you know, you just don't need honest people around you. You just need uh, to, you know, if, if you're going to show me that you can't support me when uh, I've been there for you, 
And now that I'm down and you and you, and you don't want to be there, I, the hell with you. You know what I mean? This is the mindset people ha y'all people have to have. You know what I mean? If, if people turn their back on you, you know, let them let them go. Just let them go. Once they close that door, you lock it from the other side. They can never get in again. All right, fuck them. You know these people are not important. Um, you know I feel good. It's a nice day out. You know coronavirus is still kind of hitting the. Uh, Hitting the world and everything, but I feel good. I feel blessed. I feel blessed at knowing that I don't have to deal with toxic people. I feel blessed at knowing that the new woman in my life that I'm dealing with is just a joy to talk to and to connect with. And, and is beautiful both inside and out. I feel blessed that the friends that I have in my life are wonderful people who have empathy. I feel blessed for... Um, for Crystal, I feel blessed for Andy. I feel blessed for Rosa, Mari. I feel blessed for uh, Angie, uh, Abby. Uh, I feel blessed for all these people that have, um, that have, you know, been there to, you know, hear my story and 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 boost me up. Uh, I, I feel blessed that all the people on this channel have uh, really supported me even you know this channel is you know I don't claim to be the end all be all on this subject I'm learning and this channel from beginning until now has been an, a, 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 a just a natural progression just growing you know in the beginning I was mad I was mad I was stark raving mad I mean I was mad to the point where I was willing to do something stupid and um, you know my my narcissistic ex knows that and she would have probably enjoyed that you know what I mean but instead, I put my focus into this channel. I felt proud to come out with a video every week that people could relate to. I feel proud that uh, I'm helping people in a positive way. You know, I have my I have my uh, my methods, and they're a little unorthodox. You know, people that come to my YouTube channel, uh, you know, they they see the link to go to my Facebook channel. When they go to my Facebook, they see all the dark humor and the rather offensive stuff that I might post sometimes all for the sake of humor but the people who know me know that I, I love to make people laugh I love uh, dark humor I love looking at the world from a different lens now uh, I look at the world in a way where it's like things just don't hurt anymore you understand and it's wonderful it's a great feeling things don't bother me anymore I don't get as angry my anxiety is ironic I always suffered from really 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 extreme social anxiety i've always struggled I've, I've always struggled with that i've always struggled even to get on the train and to be in a crowded train i would i would tense up you know put my fist because i always felt like i was ready to have to defend myself or to attack somebody who got too close to me you want to know something as soon as i broke out of this narcissistic relationship uh, I, I found that the the anxiety that social anxiety left i had to deal with the anxiety of my anger and everything after the the discard and, and all the things that I had to put together but once all that subsided the actual my actual social anxiety has left I I take um, pride and enjoy in going out and meeting people I take pride in helping people I absolutely love to go out and socialize I love to go out and dance salsa I love to go out and meet people I love to go to comedy clubs um, just before this coronavirus pandemic hit, I went out with uh, my friends Abby and Angie and Hector. Shout out to them. We went to do to go to a comedy club, and then we went to do karaoke, and it was amazing. And it was awesome, and I was like a little nervous to get on and do the karaoke and sing because I'm a terrible singer, and I had a great ass time, and I actually sounded pretty good. You know, it's like your mind opens up once you break out of this narcissistic relationship and this, the discard. I mean, it's not really a relationship; it's like a, it's. A situation ship really once you break out of it and you start thinking for yourself again and you start finding your identity and you start doing things you start to love things again you start to love life again you start to love going out and meeting people and socializing and you love to laugh again that's one of my biggest things has always been dark humor posting memes uh, on Facebook that get people laughing also get a rise out of some people not in a bad way though but like oh oh you went there oh and you know, and, and it's it's just fun, you know. I realize that nothing can bother me now. I'm unhooverable. I'm almost bulletproof in a way, you know. Um, once you get to that point, it's like it, it's all it's an awesome feeling because you feel like nothing can bother you. And everything that a narcissist does, when you look at it, just when you look back in the past and you look back at it, it looks like a joke. 
And anything that people do to try to cross your boundaries now, you understand how to, how to deal with that. And you understand how to cut people off that don't need to be in your life. It's not like... It's not like uh, you cutting people off because you want to uh, teach them a lesson. It's you cutting people off because you want to maintain your peace of mind and you want to have a great life and you don't need toxic, poisonous people in it. So just a little bit of a, um, of a blog that I'm doing. Um, remember what I always say, guys, love yourself, respect yourself. Just my thoughts. Maybe I'll do more of these where I can just sit down and talk to you guys and everything and just talk about life and uh, maybe we can all have a conversation one day maybe I'll go live and we can just talk you know I would really enjoy that um, until then love yourself respect yourself love over narcissism <laughs>